Now, Uriah Faber is going to be taking on Ricky Simone. And what is a little bit of a lighter, maybe of a, an appetizer of a card, mm-hmm. if you will, uh, for UFC Fight Night Sacramento uh, next Saturday, July the 13th. Now, it's headlined by Durandamy and uh, Aspen Ladd. Uh, now, this one's in the bantamweight division, which is a pretty shallow division at this juncture, unfortunately. So with that being said, we're going to kind of give you guys a quick little synopsis of these top two fights. Uh, we're going to go Uriah Faber making his return against Ricky mm-hmm. Simone. What do you think? Uh, what do you got to hear? So I honestly thought that he w- wouldn't come back like after his retirement. Mm-hmm. I'm glad he came back. I guess he feels fine physically. Maybe that break kind of, you know, gave his body like some rest and he was able to heal all the small injuries or whatnot. Mm-hmm. But I think Uriah, Ho, uh, Faber, Ho, Uriah Faber wins. And um, yeah, I just like the guy. I think he wins. He's got a lot of experience. And um, I think he still got it physically to a big extent. 100%. Yeah, Ricky Simone is just like a, he's a very aggressive up and coming guy. He's a young guy. I've seen one or two of his fights and he had, uh, before he has this suave haircut, he had a little bit of a mullet. Yeah. And he oh, was like, coming out there and he's yes. really swinging yeah. for the fences. Yeah. Remind me a little bit of the explosiveness that yeah. we saw from like a Diego Sanchez back in the day. Um, so it should be very interesting to watch that. I think Ricky Simone is going to beat Uriah Faber. Okay. Um, I, I just got some kind of aggression coming out there and kind of catching this. Yeah. Oh, uh, he's a little bit older, and the first thing to go is your speed. <laughs> Excuse That's me. That's correct. And Ricky Simone is a very, very explosive guy, and I just think it's going to be one of those where he he's going to dictate whether it's standing or it or, or it's it's sitting or it's staying uh, standing up. So okay. he's going to be able to dictate where it goes, and uh, I have Ricky Simone winning that fight. I don't really know how he's going to win. Maybe it might be a decision, but that's where I have it. Okay. I got Faber. I don't think uh, Simone can really knock him out. And I think Faber will have uh, an advantage of uh, of the takedowns, maybe putting Simone on the floor and, uh, you know, grinding it out. That's it. All right. Oh, the, the, the random May fight? Yeah. And now we've got... Jermaine Durandamy versus Aspen Ladd for you guys. Now, Aspen Ladd hasn't lost yet. Had some weight issues in terms of making weight uh, a couple times. <clears throat> so hopefully, no issues there. Um, now, Jermaine Durandamy uh, famously just re- ref- straight up refused to face one mm-hmm. of the cyborg. cyborg. So this is somebody whose heart you have to question, not due to any speculation, but due to straight hard facts. I'm going to take Aspen Ladd here. Uh, by victory, uh, by TKO. She's okay. got some great stand-up. And uh, I just think she's going to put uh, Durand- uh, uh, Jermaine Durandamy away. Okay, yeah. I, uh, it's a fair, fair prediction. I think uh, I'm also rooting for Aspen Lad. Not even so much like based on knowledge, but I got to say, and that's not hating, but I don't really love Jer- uh, Jermaine Durandamy because she um, the way she fought Holly Holm, Right. When she punched her twice after the bell. Right. Um, I remember this. I, I, I didn't like it. I just didn't like her whole, you know, demeanor. And um, her running away from Cyborg as well and all that stuff. Um, I don't it's just, I, yeah. I'm impartial it's to her. It's hard to be a fan. It's hard to be her fan. Right? Yes. 